At one point you contacted this friend from high school, right? I contacted my friend Linda and I told her that I was having these issues. These people were driving by my house at this point, like honking, throwing stuff in my yard. I believed that it was Kelly and she was the one that approached Jenny about this. So you, you talked to your friend, Linda. Linda. Why Jenny? Was she like some kind of badass yeah. in high school? Yeah, she's, she's pretty rough. The woman behind that threatening phone call is here. You know her now, you know now who she is. She is the one who eventually set Tara up by going to the police. Um, if it were not for her, you might not be sitting here with me today. So I'd like to add her to this conversation. Is that okay with you? Yeah. Okay, well, let's bring, let's bring Jenny in, please. Jenny, Dr. Phil, how are you? Have a seat. Okay. You got a call from Linda. Yeah. Did you know Tara? Yeah, we went to school together. Were you surprised when she popped up out of the blue here and was reaching out to you? Oh yeah, yeah. But why you? At the time, I guess she knew that I would make the prank call for her. Did you have a reputation in high school of being for a badass? Fighting. Yes, I did. You were a fighter? Yeah, I actually got into a fist fight one time over Tara. Over Tara? Yeah, but this was like, I wanna say 1999, 2000. Uh-huh. Yeah. What was it about? She claimed somebody was messing with her and harassing her and asked um, if I would confront this person for her. And I agreed to, you know, I confronted them, like leave her alone. And the girl actually became confrontational with me and we ended up getting into a fist fight. Okay, so you weren't big friends. No. But yet she came to you as her champion yes. in high school and used you as muscle. Well, I wasn't the only one. You know, she tried to recruit anyone she could to do it for her, but I was just the immature one at the time that let her manipulate me into doing it. Were you tough? Yes. <laughs> Did you win your fights? Never lost one. That girl leave her alone after that? Yes. So she had a, she was one and oh. Yes. In using you, okay. So when she asked you to make this phone call and you call it a prank call, the police could call it a terroristic threat. Yeah but you made the call and you said some pretty horrific things, right? Yes, I did. What did you say? I know when Kelly picked up the phone, I just immediately started yelling at her. I told her that um, if she didn't stop, that um, she was gonna have problems and that I was, gonna, I was gonna find her and fight her and if she didn't leave Tara alone, I was gonna curb some of her face. I actually told her she wouldn't walk away. She would be in the hospital with a feeding tube. Uh, and her kids wouldn't be able to recognize her? Yes. Okay. Now that was in 2015. That's 16 years later. And she still is able to get you to call somebody and threaten their health, safety, and well-being. Yeah. Did she offer you money? No. No. Um, when I talked to her after the fact, you know, because I told her, I said, you, you realize I'm not going to touch this woman, right? And she's like, yeah, you know, it's just a prank phone call. Like, I just want her, you know, to stop messing with me. And maybe if she gets some calls like that, she'll leave me alone.